कामेश क्रोध एष रजो गुण समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा विद्य नमी वैरिण अर्जुन इज आस्किंग टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण व्हाट इज द बिगेस्ट 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 एनिमी ऑफ मैन काइंड एंड लॉर्ड कृष्ण आंसर्स इन दिस श्लोक ओ अर्जुन इट इज लास्ट ओनली कामेश क्रोध एष येस विच इज द मोस्ट डिवरिंग एनिमी ऑफ मैन काइंड एंड वेन लास्ट इज फुलफिल्ड इट टर्न्स इन टू ग्रीड and when lust is not fulfilled it turns into anger right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today we are going to discuss extramarital affair indications of oops sorry <laughs> indications of extramarital affair in a horoscope now this is a very 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 sensitive topic so i would request you humbly with folded hands to exercise caution when you are discussing this topic from an astrological perspective what i mean to say is that there is you can have a person who has all these indications but still they may not have an affair okay or you may find somebody who does not have even one of these combinations but they can uh, have multiple uh, extramarital affairs okay now why is this because there are so many 100000 combinations of extramarital affair and we cannot discuss everything here and maybe there are some combinations among the list of things that we'll discuss today which is present in a person but there could be some other factors which is reducing the impact of those features so because of that the person is maybe tempted but the person is not going ahead okay so therefore i i am requesting everyone once again with all humility please exercise caution when you discuss this with somebody especially if somebody is married and you tell that person that your spouse may be having an affair it's uh, it's, it's very daunting to hear these things if somebody is married so therefore unless you are very sure and the spouse is also um, the the person is also doubting his or her spouse without that you do not you should not uh, you should not start discussing on this okay of course if the consultation is specifically on this topic then well yes uh, then be the devil's advocate and analyze okay but otherwise please exercise caution please 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 all right now what is the first placement first thing see this is very important because this is something which is ignored by the astrology community the first thing is a bad moon oh my god a bad moon why does it show now uh, that the person can uh, indulge in extramarital affairs because a bad moon can indicate uh, a bad childhood or lack of fulfillment emotionally in any relationship okay not only just uh, husband wife relationship so <coughs> if you see a person has a bad moon then it is likely that the person may i am saying may not will the person may try to compensate that lack of uh, emotional fulfillment by using sexuality or by using other women or other men also so, so uh, therefore uh, you need to understand that a bad moon is the biggest trigger for an extramarital affair okay now what is the second indication second indication is a bad trine trine there are two trines fifth house ninth house the trines show happiness and morality so if the fifth house or the ninth house has malefics or the fifth lord ninth lord they are afflicted by malefics then this becomes a very big catalyst because or the worst case is if both are very badly placed so if the fifth lord is afflicted and the ninth house is a malefic okay or the ninth lord and fifth lord both are afflicted or both the trines have malefics and then uh, it can make things worse okay because the fifth house deals with happiness so when the trines have malefics it can show that you cannot be happy very easily in life you know in i'm not talking about external things internally you're miserable you're unhappy you are sad for some reason or the other you always keep feeling that oh, i wish i had this or that in life and you are not happy okay so therefore and the ninth house 
specifically deals with morality. So uh, if the person has a bad ninth house, then the person may have very less moral standards for himself or for herself and then they may uh, not want to maintain the vows of marriage and then they may go and have affairs, okay? Now, after you see uh, these things, then you have to see if the seventh lord is in a great dignity but afflicted. Seventh lord either in a, in, in a great dignity and afflicted. Why do I say this? Because if the seventh house, uh, if the seventh lord is in a great dignity, it means the awareness is very high, which means the person is very concerned about what is happening in his marriage. But now there is an affliction. What happens? The person is very aware. The person wants to have a happy marriage. You know, the person wants to have good relationship with his spouse. Mm, but then because of the affliction, there is some... Uh, there is some problem, you know, Saturn is afflicting, the person has a bad uh, sex life or the person has a bad, you know, emotionally, the person is not fulfilled, the person has financial problems, you know. Uh, and then what happens, this lack of happiness in marriage is giving nightmares to this person because this planet is exalted or in a great dignity. So that's the problem with exalted but afflicted uh, planets is that the awareness is so high, you cannot live without um, that thing. So, now if that is exalted and afflicted, so it's like saying you cannot live uh, without a good marriage, okay? And because of the affliction, your marriage is not good. And now you're looking for happiness somewhere else, okay? And what is the next thing? Uh, this, this thing is very peculiar because this uh, you have to see in conjunction with other factors which is uh, affliction of Jupiter by Rahu, okay? So if Rahu is afflicting Jupiter, so Jupiter also is the Karaka for the 5th and ninth and the 2nd house, right? And the 11th, of course. And for women, he's also the Karaka for the 7th house. So, <clears throat> so if Jupiter is uh, afflicted by Rahu, then, then this person may have a tendency to have affairs. The person may or may not have may have a tendency, okay. Then, what is uh, what is equally important, this next uh, factor is very, very important. If somebody has a basic 4 and a destiny 6, now what is this? Uh, basic 4 means if your basic number, so you are born on 4th or 13th or 22nd or 31st, okay, of any month, any year. And when you add up your date of birth, which is your destiny number, which is 6, okay, 6. So both should be true. So for example, you are born on 22nd and your destiny number is 6. So then the person is very, very, very likely to have extramarital affairs. Now I won't explain why this is. I have to go into numerology and it's very complicated. Uh, but this is this is something I, I have examples right in front of me. Basic 4, destiny 6. Very, very, very dangerous. Okay. And with basic four destiny six, the problem is even if they don't have affairs, they have a tendency to always, you know, uh, look around for other women for, you know, short term enjoyment. They may not in go and indulge physically, but they will, you know, wherever they get a chance, they will stare, they will flirt, they will, you know, have some conversation, you know, it's like they can't stay without women, okay? And it's the same for women, then they can't stay without um without uh, getting some kind of approval from men, okay? In women, this is also seen very much. <coughs> but for men, yeah, it's like very direct, you know, it's like typically, uh, anyways. <laughs> All right, then what is the next uh, next indication? The next indication is Lagnesh placed in a Dustana house. Okay, so the Lagna Lord, Lord of your first house sitting in 6, eight, 12, um, and also afflicted. So when the Lagnesh is in a bad dignity, it can show that the person is not um, able to maintain their commitments for marriage or any long-term commitment, okay? Because the Lagna Lord can show sticking to your ideals. And because of that, when it is in a bad dignity, so the person is kind of shaky, you know, he will decide today and tomorrow after three months, six months, he's like, 
oh yeah that's it you know enough enough of this marriage you know i i don't want to maintain i i don't feel like maintaining so bad lagnesh will always give in to feelings okay and adding to that if that plant is afflicted oh boy this is like this is like a very um, this is a very uh, it's a very difficult situation because now because of the afflictions the person is also even if he wants externally you know things are not good in his life and the person is already shaky and on top there are problems it's like a double whammy okay so these are uh, very important uh, conjunctions and then of course the classic combination is a venus rahu combination uh, but again this is not like a generalized uh, combination but venus uh, in connection to moon or rahu or both uh, can encourage a person to look at other women or uh, not just look you know it's like looking to have a relationship <laughs> so this person can uh, have a very high you know sex drive and sometimes you know they can be very like seductive they can be very uh, they can be very sexually driven they could be very much driven by emotions and highs and lows and you know the person may a uh, uh, struggle to have uh, uh, commitment towards one person okay so so therefore in kali yuga in 2023 oh sorry it's 2024 <laughs> in 2024 or later also if you have a spouse who is committed to you and your spouse is not having extramarital affairs which i'm sure he or she doesn't then you are you're blessed <laughs> yes this is what kali yuga is you have to have good karma to uh, have a spouse who is not having affairs which is like bare minimum but yes you need good karma because you don't know your spouse may be doing that okay you know, but if you have good karma then he or she will not okay so therefore as i said there are thousand other combinations which we can discuss and i would love to know from you what are some of the famous combinations that you have seen which can propel a person which uh, can indicate that a person will have extramarital affairs and uh, please let me know down in the comments all right thank you very much uh, jay shri ram if you want a consultation please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with someone who may we wanting to know if their spouse is having an extramarital affair or all right thank you so much see you soon again